Panchito. Panchito. If you will look at the first picture in your teletalkie, you will see a little burro. His name is Panchito. He's the little fellow with the big ears. One little chicken, she clocked. <laughs> the little goose, he hung. <laughs> and the little pig, he squealed. <laughs> but when Panchito tried to bray, out came nothing. He tried and he tried, but no hee-haw. And right away, the little animals made up a song about him. Panchito. He is a good little burro, but he cannot bray. Cannot he, cannot haw, it is awful. Panchito. The gooses and geeses, their nephews and nieces all say. What a shame, such a shame. Too bad for the parents of no Panchito. Panchito has ruined their name. Panchito. Ay, poor Panchito. His heart was so heavy like a stone. He was so ashamed he ran away and climbed to the top of the highest mountain. And when he got there, what do you think he saw? A little eagle in his nest. The little eagle was crying. So Panchito, he said, Hey, little eagle, why do you cry? And the little eagle said, I cannot fly. And when an eagle cannot fly, there is much to cry about. And when Panchito heard this, he said, Ay, you poor little eagle. You are almost so bad off like me. I am a little burro, and I cannot pray. I, you poor little burro. Do you mind if I cry with you? No? No, little burro. Let us cry together. Thank you. <laughs> and after they could not cry no more, each felt so sorry for himself and for one another, they decided to jump off the mountain and end it all. <laughs> Well, Panchito and the little eagle did jump off the top of the mountain. But as they were falling down and down, suddenly the little eagle called out. Look! Look, my wings, they're flying. Flap your ears, little bird, and fly like me. I can't! I can't! And the ground kept getting bigger and bigger and closer and closer and more bigger. But just before the ground got big enough to hit Panchito, the little eagle grabbed him by the tail. <laughs> And Panchito made a one-point landing right on the tip of his nose. And the little eagle, he said, Little burro, you know what? You brayed. No, no, I did not bray. Oh, but you did. You only think you cannot bray. Like I thought I could not fly. So if you think you can bray, you can bray. So what you think? Panchito did not know what to think. But he thought he ought to think, and maybe think some more. In the meantime, at the village, a big fiesta was commencing to begin. The little chicken was practicing her clock. The little goose was practicing his honk. The little pig was warming up his squealer. The band was playing pretty music, and everybody was happy. That is... Everybody but the papa and mama of little Panchito. And they were very sad. Oh, my poor Panchito. If we only had him back, we would not care if he never prayed nothing. <laughs> Listen, papa. What is it? And when the papa burro looked to see, there was little Panchito standing beside the little chicken, the little goose, and the little pig. And when the band did play, you never did hear such music. For Panchito, he joined in and brayed. Hee-haw, hee-haw. Hee-haw, <laughs> 
And now little Panchito makes the biggest and most beautiful hee-haw in all Mexico. <laughs> Which goes to prove, if you think you cannot, you cannot. But if you think you can, you can, I think. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs>